Hello, welcome back to Go Girl Glowburn. My name is Glowburn and we are going on a road trip today. This is the first time that I've been awake this early since probably the road trip or maybe Sundays when we go to church. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go on a road trip to Hyden today. So a day trip to Hyden actually. And we are also going to be documenting the whole thing with this camera so this is a disposable camera from film never die film never die is a film lab in Melbourne and I've always wanted to try their Iro 400 or IRO 400 I think it's Japanese so it's probably pronounced as Iro I don't know <laughs> so I've always wanted to try their IRO 400 film and they recently released it in a disposable camera format so I'm going to be documenting the whole thing with this and showing you guys the photos as well yes I'm so excited to go on this road trip or day trip because it's been a while you know what with the current situation and all After four hours, well, almost four hours of driving, we have made it to the town of Wave Rock. Well, just outside the town of Wave Rock, we are. Wait, what? <laughs> town of Harden. <laughs> After almost four hours of driving, we have made it to Wave Rock, just outside the town of Harden. You excited? Yep. Yes, let's go. Okay. Okay. 11.59 p.m. Yeah, you just pick the maximum amount because it's done a little bit of time, but that's right. That's fine. It says 12. Oh, up there. <laughs> Thank you. 
So now we're going to try and go up the top of the wave rock and see what we can find. It's an easy grade walking trail and apparently it takes about 25 minutes. So we're kind of walking just like to the edge or to the side of the rock. The rock's just there and we're like on the side probably walking around and we saw some people walking up to the top so maybe they took this walking trail to go up to the top but the name of the walking trail is Hippo's Yawn Loop and this and Apparently there's another rock formation that is called the Hipposion just up ahead. So we'll see what that looks like. So we've climbed up the side of the rock because it was kind of scalable but <laughs> I hope this is the right way and I hope this is not a repeat of when we got lost. Mm. Right, we've decided to go back down. I'm scared. Because <laughs> there's no signs, there's no like proper signs like pointing you to where we should go. So we're going back down. I'm a scaredy cat, that is what I am. So this is the sign that we saw before we went up the rock and it just says you are here but nowhere on the sign does it say where to go next because basically where we went was like to the right side but then there's also a trail to the left side which kind of looks dodgy and we're not sure if that is the way to go it just doesn't say turn left to go to the next one or turn right to go to the to continue on to Hipposion, so I'm guessing we're just gonna drive it. <laughs> now I just want to talk a little bit about this camera, well disposable camera, the Film Never Die Ito 400. One thing I don't like about it is the shutter button. It's protruded from the body. I don't know if you can see that. It's a bit higher. It's like a bump just above the body. And just then I just put it in my pocket and I had my vlogging camera strapped around my body with my strap and I just left the tripod connected to it and it triggered the shutter so it took a photo in my pocket so I guess that's just one of the things that I'm not really fond about disposable cameras the Ilford disposable camera that I used in the previous road trip was the shutter button was a bit um, sunken into the body of the disposable camera so that one was good but this one not so much so probably if you're gonna use this I'm sure the photos will look good just remember that the shutter button is protruding from the body of the camera so it might take a photo inside your bag or inside your pocket
There's a few more things you can do in Hayden. I heard that there's a wildlife park and there are also a couple museums and if you want to know more about those things you can always visit the visitor center but because we're only doing this for a day trip and we still have four hours of travel back home so we just came here to visit the wave rock and the hipposion Currently in Bells Rapids by myself. I'm a bit chuffed that I made it here by myself. <laughs> I am still traumatized from getting lost at Eucla, so I think this is an achievement. Well, that was kind of scary. Someone who had a motorbike and was riding it, I thought he was going to stop onto, like, before setting foot on the bridge, but he actually drove over the bridge and the bridge shook like crazy. So I was like, ah, maybe it's time to go. <laughs> that was scary. I don't think he was supposed to do that. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and I shall see you on Wednesday.